Are you scared every time you go to the mailbox only to find new bills? Or are you one of those who never look at their bank account balance because you are afraid to know what is there? Are you able to pay a $400 unexpected expense without going into debt? If this is you or simply want to improve your financial situation, watch this video to learn how to remove anxiety related to debt and to build a small safety net. Hi, this is Serge. In the previous video of this series, we discovered why we are in financial trouble. Now it is time to reset our financial situation to allow us to move forward and to improve our future. Remember, this is a journey and it will take some time to adjust ourselves. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment this video to be notified every time a new one comes out. By this time, you probably realize that you are in deep trouble or only surviving. You may be scared every time you are looking at your credit card statement or even worse, you are afraid to go at the mailbox and to see new bills piling up. Okay, now that we made the budget and lived a few months with it, as per the previous video, it is time to find ways to generate more cash to gradually improve our financial situation. As the situation gets better, we will eventually be comfortable financially. How can you generate more revenue, you may ask? The following or only suggestion. I know. It is not what you want to do, but it is necessary for now. Let's see some ways. First, get another job or do overtime at your current job. 1. Become a Uber driver or a Lyft driver. 2. Host an Airbnb. Many of us have spare room or a den in our apartment or house. If you do not mind sharing your personal space, why not renting it to a stranger? It may be a good way to make new friends and to generate extra income. Sure, for some of us, having a stranger around you is not the best situation. But at this point, we need to find ways to get more money with what we have. Third, rent your car using Turo or others. Did you know that a car sits in a parking lot doing nothing beside collecting dust on average 95% of the time? It would be nice to get your car to generate money when you are not using it. The car does not have to be new, but as long as it is well maintained and clean, you can become a host. Sure, a Ferrari would attract more people, but your current car will do. 4. Grocery delivery with instant car or others. If you like shopping, why not shopping for others and get paid in same time while doing grocery? Depending on your shopping city, different stores are available. There are two types of shoppers. Full-time shoppers, if you have a car, or in-store shopper. 5. Anything to generate an extra revenue. There is most likely a topic that you are passionate about. What about creating an ebook or an online training with it? What about starting a YouTube channel about this topic? What about offering your services as a freelancer on Fiverr, Upwork, Guru, or freelancer? Don't be shy or afraid. We are in a difficult financial situation and we are looking for ways to exit this financial trap. Now that we look at generating extra money, we need to prioritize the repayments of debt. There are two main ways to repay our debts, meaning the avalanche, and the snowball methods. Each method requires that you list out your debts and make minimum payments on all but one of them. That one you pay extra money towards with the aim of wiping it out first. Once it's erased, you target another balance. The extra money you applied towards it could be the minimum sum you had to pay on the erased debt. The two strategies diverge over which debt you single out first. In the debt avalanche method, you pay extra money towards the debt with the highest interest rate. With the debt snowball method, you pay down the smallest debt first and work your way up, regardless of the interest rate. 
While both are useful strategy to get debt out of your life, one method might be easier for you to stick with and make a bigger impact on your finance. We will cover those methods in a different video at a later time. And now, the cherry on the Sunday. It is time to start saving money. Once you paid all your debt, excluding mortgage, car loan, and some may include student loan, it is time to save three to six months worth of essential money. This is called an emergency fund. Think about it this way. Until now, you made so much effort to get out of debt, starting with your budget, paying all your debts. It is certainly not the time to return into debt. What happens if you lose your job? What happens if an unexpected expense occur? This emergency fund needs to be accessible within a short time frame, but should not be sitting in your regular bank account. Basically, make this money invisible. We will cover this topic in a different video. To learn more, watch the bonus section. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment this video to be notified every time a new one comes up. And the last point for today is to let go your pride for a period of time. Pride aside, take every handout you can get. Remember, you are in financial trouble and it is not the time to be ashamed. Take all opportunities available to get out of trouble. Look at free services around you, for example, food banks. Get free or cheap stuff at places like thrift store, dollar store, dollar tree, etc. And keep in mind that you are never too good to ride the bus instead of your fancy car. You will save in car payment, gas, insurance, plate, parking, and tickets. Use local library instead of buying every book, CDs, etc. Use everything available to you. Look at me for example. Even today I shop regularly at Dolorama and thrift store. You will be surprised of the stuff you find there. Of course, you will not find quality in a dollar store, but if you do not need quality, why spending more than needed? Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment this video to be notified every time a new one comes out. I hope you understand the situation we are in today. We need to protect ourselves. So watch the next video to know more about what to do with our currency. Also, am I missing something? Do you disagree with me? Or there are other topics you would like me to cover? If so, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Therefore, act now or dream on. See you next time. Okay, bye.